Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to be the doing the long-awaited makeup collection tour something like that. Basically, I'm going to be showing you my entire collection of makeup and kind of how I have it organized. That is why I do not have any makeup on today because you're not going to be seeing this face. But before we get started, just make sure you hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and the bell next to it so you're instantly notified when I upload. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so I am starting off by showing you my desktop what I have on here, and then we will go into the drawers. I do have some scratches and stuff, obviously. This is not brand new. I actually just got it in the beginning of this year, and I'm going to need more space. So I'll probably do an updated video sooner than expected, but I want to get this out to you guys to finally show you all of my stuff. So I do have my computer here, a few things. Um, my husband got this for me a couple of Christmases ago to have for my makeup room. So although I still don't have my makeup own makeup room, I'm keeping it until I do. And then my computer. And then if you come over here. So this is the Lorac 20 year anniversary set. It just has lipstick, the lipsticks and then the matching lip glosses. I got this for my birthday for my brother and my husband and I have not used them. And I don't plan to. So if you come over here, I have some books here. And then I have some Pixie makeup that I got for PR that I, um, not Pixie makeup, Pixie skincare. And I actually have been using it for a couple weeks. So I will give you guys an update on that. I just wanted to do an in-depth review instead of just, oh, this looks nice. So I've been using it to figure it out. My favorite setting spray is Morphe setting spray. And then over here I have a container with lip liners. This is primarily my Kylie Jenner lip liners, but I do have some other ones just thrown in here. And then I have another one because I ran out of space, but this is ColourPop. I think this is all ColourPop ones and some that I don't know. What is this? Oh, this is a Kylie one. So it belongs over here. So we got ColourPop and Kylie and then some random ones in here like Mac, Drugstore. These are all my face brushes except for my sponges. I'm going to have to figure out either another container to put them in or some way, other way to hold them and store them because they're kind of being all smushed together up top here and it can ruin the brushes that way. So if you have an idea, put it in the, in the comment below so I can figure out how to store these better. So then I just have some random lipstick holders up here. So this is the Luxe Lipsticks from ColourPop. It has all of those in there, and I don't really use them, but I love this box, so I wanted to keep it, and I just use it like a decorative kind of thing. And then, this is all my Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks, and then my MAC bullet lipsticks. And you have, this is just a decorative piece oh, that I got from Home Goods. It does open, but I loved the gold and the marble on it and the crystal. And then I have the La Mer foundation because the only thing it's good for is for display because I paid $120 for it and it was crap. So that's that. And then just over here is my nail polish tower. And I have two more shelves that I need to fill up. But I really, 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 really love doing my own nails because they grow really nice. So speaking of which, I have to paint them tonight. And then just here's some art that I have on the wall. I got these from Home Goods or TJ Maxx. And then I have like empty packages from Kylie and Kim. And then I have lipstick junkie because well it's the truth and I actually got that one I think from TJ Maxx too or Marshalls one of those I get like all my decor stuff from either Marshalls TJ Maxx or home goods and then there's some more empty containers so now that I've kind of just showed you like this is where if you are not new to my channel I record in front of here I just wanted to kind of show you guys what was all back here and all that good stuff. We're going to get into the drawers now. Right, so we're going to start with the first tower. I do have three of these. I got all of this from Ikea. You guys obviously know the Alex drawers. I got the smaller ones because I don't need the super tall ones. Well, I didn't at the time, but now I probably do. So let's start the first tower. We'll go all the way down and then we'll move on to the next two. So this drawer contains all of my ColourPop lipsticks, except for the ones that were on top of my desk. I have all the juicy lip glosses, I have the body glitters just because I didn't know where to put them right now, and then I have the Villain Tube lipsticks, and then I also have the Morphe lip toppers that came in like 
it was like 12 for 29 or something like that um, and then I have more glosses and if you come back here I don't know if you can see it very well but it goes all the way back here so I have mattes they're vel not velvets I have their ultra mattes, their ultra satins, and their ultra glossy lips. I am a big fan of ColourPop because they're very decently priced. But you also get like all, look at these pretty colors. I just am loving them. This is all my special collections right here. Zoella, uh, Kathleen Light, Bretman Rock. Then we have Becky G. And then I love Sarahi. Sarahi, I think it is. So, and then we have the Billion ones. So there's a bunch of different ColourPops back here. I do really love ColourPop's lips. Cheap, nice, and the quality is really, really good. These I've been wearing lately, and they are fantastic. I did a video on them, on the whole collection, really, and I will link it above for you guys. So going down to the next one is my Kylie Jenner drawer. Now, some of these, obviously, I have to find another way to hold my liquid lipsticks. If you guys have an idea, please put it down below, because they slide and they roll and they just get all over the place, and it drives me crazy. So, the first row here are, oh my god, the first row here are all the collabs, so, um, KKW, this is her Valentine's Day ones, this is the recent Coco, this is the older Coco, this is the second KKW, and then this is a Christmas one, and then I have the vacation ones. So, these are the glosses that came with the Valentine's Day kit, and then all of these are either matte, velvet, or gloss. And then I have some metallics. So I have tons and tons and tons of Kylie. Obviously, you guys know I have over 80-something Kylie lipsticks, which I am highly proud of. And it also goes all the way back here. She is my number one favorite lipstick brand. Um, and then ColourPop is my second. So the third drawer is also lipsticks, but it is a random drawer of lipsticks. So <laughs> this one is the least organized. I have Huda lipsticks in here, tons of them, Milk Makeup, Fenty Toppers, MAC Lip Gloss, Marc Jacobs Lip Gloss, ABH Lipsticks, Lunar Beauty, Smashbox, KKW, Fenty, and then I have Laura Lee, Morphe. These are like all name brand lipsticks right here. Dose of Colors, Becca, Jeffree Star. These are random lipsticks that I have. And this is from Beauty Vault. I actually got these sent to me, and I really like them. And then I have some random lip liners down there, some lip stains. So just random right here. And then if you come back here, it's hard to see, but these are all my tube lipsticks. I had them in a circle tower, but I actually do not use the tower anymore because it just holds them better in here. So I got my KKW, my Tarte, I got Marc Jacobs, MAC, Chanel, YSL, Urban Decay, all kinds of tube lipsticks back there. And then these are just random lipsticks. They're Too Faced, NYX, Collab, Beauty Bet, or Baby Bat Beauty, Tarte. There's all kinds of stuff in here. But this is my most random drawer of lipsticks. But I love it just the same. And it is loved just as much as the other ones. It's just not as organized. But I gotta figure out how to do that. Maybe by brand or color. I'm not really certain yet. And then we have this drawer, which is just my perfumes. I don't have too many. I got rid of a lot. Um, I gave a lot, a lot to my daughters and my sisters because over the time I've just collected so many that they just, I don't use them that much. So I just stuck to the ones that I like the most. So these are the KKW Hearts, the KKW Crystal, Victoria's Secret, Chanel, MAC, and Dior, no, Lancome. I think this is a Lancome. Yep, so this one's Lancome. So, and then it just has some random postcards from the makeup and stuff that I've collected. And then a random Kylie bag because I don't keep makeup bags. And then the last drawer in here. So this one is also extremely random. I have eyeliners, gel liners, and all of that fun stuff back here that I don't really use. I'm not a big eyeliner fan, so I really don't use that many of them. So I put them all the way in the back. I have some lashes back here, lashes up here, and then lashes here. This is all of my mascaras. I wish I could organize this one a little bit better, so I'll probably work on doing that. And then this is all of my eyebrow products. Iconic, Urban Decay, ABH, which is my favorite. And then I have some Benefit, 
I have lots of benefit actually. Some Maybelline, and then I just have like pots and then pencils. However, I decide I want to do my brows that day, lots of powders and stuff. And then if you come over here, I just have like single shadows or gel shadows. So these are the villain ones. Then I have the Tarte paints, some liquid from Kylie, ColourPop, a pencil stick because I don't really use a lot of pencil shadows. And then these are the recent ColourPop Super Shock that I just reviewed, which I will also link above. And then if you add in like my glues and stuff, obviously for my lashes. So I have some, this is a company that I got off of Instagram. It's called JJ Cosmetics. I really like these. I used um, another pair before and they lasted and they were really, really, really pretty on the eyes. Then I have some Tarte, some House of Lashes, some Ardell, just some random stuff. So this is a pretty used and not used drawer. Like I don't use a lot of these. But I do obviously use all my lashes, all my brows, and my mascara, but I don't really use a lot of that. So I have to go through and figure out what I use and what I don't and try to get rid of it. So this is the second tower. This one actually has a little more random in it than anything, so we'll go through it and kind of just go quickly and let you know what's going on. So the first one is the most important drawer in this tower. I have my face sponges, beauty blenders. Morphe sponges, which are literally my least favorite because they are gross and they stay stiff. I'm just not a fan of them. I know a lot of people like them, but I just don't like them. This is all of my eye brushes, which I do have to wash, and apparently face brushes as well. So this is all of my eye brushes. I have to go through and wash and dry, but if you have a lot of brushes, then you know what misery that is and how long it takes. So I have my Evian face spray here, my MAC Prep and Prime. I have some Lancome setting spray and back here. In this nice little thing is all my setting spray. So I have some Tarte, some Urban Decay, some Kat Von D, lots of Urban Decay. So I have a lot that I have to buy some more of. My Morphe one I already showed you up there, but there was another Tarte. It's all purple and it's for like highlighting and giving you a really pretty glow I have to rebuy. So big fan of setting sprays. I have a bunch of different kinds. Let's move to the next one. So this drawer is extremely, extremely random. Okay, we're gonna be real quick about this drawer. Okay, so I have waxing stuff for my brows and like little pieces to do other people's makeup with that I don't do. So there's that. My contacts, samples, um, this is also for my waxing stuff. It's uh, Vaseline, so for afterwards. And then just literally random tools that I use. Done. <laughs> All right, on to the next one, which is my skincare drawer, which I have to organize a little bit better. Um, some of my skincare stuff is in the bathroom. Some of it is up there that I showed you earlier, but I got a lot of Pixie stuff that I get for free to try. So I have a lot of that. So I have my face oils in here my um, breakout stuff, my night mask, some other masks that I got, and then obviously my cotton swabs that I use for like everything, my nails, makeup removing, which I have makeup removing wipes, face masks all back here. I have some pixie ones, some gold ones, lots of different face masks, some toners, some lotion, and then the, my um, just different face stuff, some serums. So this is all fun, all that jazz skincare stuff. I have to find a way to organize it because I don't think I want to keep it in these drawers. I think I want to keep these drawers simply makeup. So I may have to find a tower or something to do. All right, and this one is going to be another quick drawer. This is just all of my hair care products. Again, I have some in my bathroom closet that I use more often. Some on my nightstand, some on my dresser. Basically, if you come to my house, my hair care products are spread out through my house. I have some down in the living room. Just because it depends on where I am or what I'm doing that I have to add stuff or take away whatnot to my hair. So this one is my favorite. This is Color Wow for when I'm straightening my hair. It does runders. Then I have my teasing spray. This is my Hot Off The Press straightening spray. All kinds of stuff in here. But for the most part, it doesn't have as much in here as I usually do because again, I am a hot mess and I can't keep it in one place. It's all over my house. You never know when you're gonna need hairspray. So it is what it is. And down here is just some random hairbrushes and random tools that I don't really use. So I have lots of curling irons, hair, um, hair curlers, 
wands and all that that I don't really use. All my other stuff is in another drawer with the more frequent stuff that I use. All right, so down here the lighting isn't so well, but I'll just give you a quick peep. I have some empty drawers down here. This lipstick tower, which I'm thinking about doing a giveaway. So if you think you would want this in a giveaway, it holds 80 lipsticks. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't have anywhere to put it. Comment below and let me know if you think that'd be cool to put in a giveaway. And then down here in these drawers are makeup that I have to review and all my new stuff that I put. So that's just a quick under there. And then I have like empty containers, stuff I'm giving for giveaways, and all that good stuff. All right, so this drawer is one of my favorite, although my favorite is the lipsticks. This is where all of the good stuff is. All of the goods right in this tower. It's also the heaviest tower. <laughs> You'll see why in a minute. So when you first pull it open, I have all of my foundations, random primers, whether it's lip primers, eye primers. I have my concealers, my primer, my face primers. So I have like my Hydro Grip, I have Base Tape, Becca Blurring, Tatcha, Touch and Soul, all different kinds of primers. I have to find a way to hold these two because I don't like them just being here. And then I have my concealer. So I have a Color Correcting Concealer, Jeffree Star, NYX, Bye Bye Under Eyes, Morphe, which is my one of my least favorite, and then Fenty Beauty, another least favorite, my ColourPop, Giorgio Armani, and Kylie, which is my favorite concealer, and then Tarte is my second favorite. So back here, I have my foundations. All right, so I went ahead and I moved my concealer so you can see my foundation. So I have all kinds of foundations from tubes to stick foundations, Morphe foundations that I hate and don't use, um, Beauty Blender, uh, Giorgio Armani, L'Oreal, MAC. So I have a bunch of different foundations um, from stick to tubes to liquid, all that fun stuff. And I really, if I have to pick out which ones are my favorite in this drawer right now, are going to be the Milk Blur. Then I like the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Obviously my Studio Fix Fluid from MAC. And then the Beauty Blender Foundation and Hourglass. Those are my top favorite right now that I use all of the time. All of the time. Drawer number two. This one is awesome. This is my setting powder blush and bronzer drawer. So coming back here are like my face palettes. I have Wonder Beauty, Kiko, Too Faced, or is this Tarte? No, this is Tarte. Cover FX, my two big Glamour bronzers, and then my Gwen Stefani face palette. I have all of my setting powders and pressed powder all right here. I know this is a lot, but I love it, and it is what it is have a problem. I am not the biggest fan of this one or Jeffree Star's. This is Fenty's or Jeffree Star's or the collab, but I keep it because I like to collect it in two. Sometimes I use it. Uh, my favorite is the L'Oreal Translucent and then I have the L'Oreal Secret Brightening. And then I also like the Milk Makeup. That's my favorite one. This is the Blur and Set. If you have not tried this, guys, get it. It's freaking amazing. So I have my stick blushes that I just did a review on. This is all of my blushes. I have Kylie, MAC, NYX, Random, NYX, ColourPop, Makeup Geek, some more blushes over here, some Milani, Collab, and then these are my bronzers. I have Pretty Vulgar, Urban Decay, Wet n Wild. They came out with this bronzer. I want to say it was Halloween time. It is the, it has like a dragon on it. I freaking love this bronzer and I got, when they went on clearance after Halloween, I got like three to six of them. I gave some of them away for 50 cents, but I gave some away because I don't use bronzer often enough to have that many. And then this is my Kylie bronzer. So setting powder, blush, bronzer, face palettes. This one is second favorite drawer highlighters. <laughs> All right, guys. So back here, we have a lot of highlighting face palettes, ABH's face palettes, some more ABH. Then we have the go-to beauty or copycat beauty from, oh God, what's her name? Bad, Bad Baby or something like that. I don't know. I did a review on it. Um, and then I have this one, which I don't really use that often just because I don't, for me, I think they're more like eyeshadows than they are actual highlighters just because they don't go well with my skin tone. 
some more copycat beauty, and then I have Lunar Beauty back here, which is one that I probably should pull out and use more often because I really, really like it. Oof, this one, yes. All right, so then in here, I'm gonna pull it out for you guys. So I have some liquid highlighter drops. I have from Morphe, from um, Urban Decay, from Sephora. I have some Stila. I have the Lorely Los Angeles powder. I have Artist Couture powder. I have ColourPop powder. I have Kylie. All these are just my loose highlighters or liquid highlighters. That needed space. Which, by the way, I'm running out of space in this drawer if you can't tell, and I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do. So these are all my Becca ones. I have actually given away a lot of these, broken some of them, but I used to be a big fan and big collector of Becca before a lot of companies started doing really, really good highlighters because they were like really big in the game. That was one of their biggest things that they were selling were their highlighters and I absolutely love them. And I loved collecting like all the limited edition ones, but then I kind of stopped using them when everyone else came out with highlighters. I have some Urban Decay, some Kylie, Sleek, Stila, Fenty, some little small indie brands, JJ Cosmetics, JD Glow Cosmetics. I have these from Smashbox. I have Laura Geller, ColourPop, Collab, some more ColourPop, Huda, the Jaclyn Hill Face Palette, um, Coco Collection, and then these are like highlighters, Milk Makeup, Dose of Colors, ABH, and um, Resi. And then these are just some really crazy wet and wild ones that I have. So we're gonna move on to the next drawer. So this one, the second to last, um, these are both actually eyeshadow. And the reason I haven't labeled these, I don't know if I mentioned it, is because I'm going to be moving them around so often that I just find labeling to be pointless. I want to eventually have a really big setup that is clear so I can kind of just see what's in it. All right, so this is my first eyeshadow palette drawer. So in here, I have all of my ABH ones. I think I'm missing their newer one. I don't remember who they did it with. I know it's pink if you comment below um, and let me know what it's called, but I know it's a pink one, but that's all I remember. Then I have some Too Faced, some Urban Decay, Dose of Colors, some more Urban Decay, Lunar Beauty, and then I have all of these Lorac palettes. So one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. So these are very collectible. I know that a lot of people sell them just because they're limited. They did bring back some of them for a little while. So, but I don't know if they're still available. And then I have Tarte. And this is my Gwen Stefani Urban Decay one. Um, honestly, I don't use this and I haven't probably for years now, but the reason I keep it is because it has sentimental value to me. Um, this is actually one of my first ever um, high-end expensive eyeshadow palettes my mom got for me for Christmas quite a while ago when it first came out. I had to have it. I just started getting back like into makeup, into makeup, not just like, oh, I'm wearing makeup, but really collecting it. I think it was back in 2015, 2016. And so because it's so special to me, it was my first high-end brand or high-end eyeshadow palette and my mom got it for me. I can't get rid of it even though I do not use it. So then I have Morphe. I have just some random Morphe palettes, Jaclyn Hill Morphe. I checked those today. They are not moldy, so that's good. <laughs> the Jaclyn Hill palette a bronze Morphe palette, and then the James Charles Morphe palette. So we are going to move on to the last drawer. Last and heaviest drawer, which by the way, I need to figure out a better way to organize my eyeshadow palettes, but just bear with me. So I have this one, which is the Violet Voss Pro Ride or Die. I literally only bought this palette for one reason, and I have only ever swatched it, and I think I might have used one or two colors, but I only bought it because it has my name in the palette. How freaking cool is that? So $75 palette and I never use it. All right, so I have some, I have all my color pop in here. I have some Pixie that was sent to me for free. I have Baby Bat Beauty. I have the 
Blo Blue Blood Palette, Violet Voss Holy Grail, Sephora Pro. I actually got this Holy Grail palette for my first ever um, IMATS that I went to with my husband and I really think it's special and I really wanted it at the time so I can't get rid of it. Then I have my Laura Lee, KKW Beauty, and Mario. I need more KKW Beauty ones and I really have to tell my husband that so he can buy them for me. And then I have some Too Faced Glitter Bomb that I don't use. I have, the, these are all ColourPop right here. ColourPop, I love Sarahi, ColourPop Shayla, The Villains, Solimar, The Brunch Collection, Bretman Rock, my Lorac one that I really don't use because I didn't like any of the Lorac ones, so I don't know why I got it. I prefer the bigger palettes than the smaller ones. And then here is my Kylie palette collection. I have the Storm collection. I have the Valentine's Day. I have the Christmas Naughty and Nice. Jordan, the Vacation palette. It's like Take Me on Vacation or something. So this one is the Royal Peach palette. This is the Sipping Pretty palette. Then I have some smaller ones, the Coco palette, all of her like smaller shadows. And then my Natasha Denona palette, so which I've swatched like a couple of colors. This is a $129 palette and these shadows are amazing. I just haven't reached for it yet, but it is also summertime, so I might reach for it more in the fall. I have Huda, the Desert Dust palette and the New Nudes. And then I have some random Boxy Charm palettes that I had. So sa this one is Zueva Beauty. And then this is Too Faced and we have some Huda Neons, some matte quads, some other like Tarte ones that I don't really go to, but these are, I want to say that like these two drawers are used the most because I do love my eyeshadow and I try to keep it as organized as possible, but I want to get wider drawers to where I can lay them and just kind of look through them as if they were like records or books or something. So that's going to be the last drawer and that is all of my makeup. All right, guys, so that is my collection. I am sorry it's not super organized. I'm still working on kind of like how I want to organize it. Like I said in the video, if you have any like ideas or things that I can do, go ahead and drop a comment below and let me know. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I hope you liked it. Sorry if the lighting was a little bit off. This room is super dark and the only lights I really have are the studio ones that kind of shine on my face. So I did the best I can with that, but let me know what your favorite drawer was in my collection down below. And don't forget to tell me whether you want me to add that lipstick tower. It's like an 80 lipstick holder to a giveaway because I totally will. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.